I want to talk about projects that fail. Some of these projects, some, many times people embark upon projects and they fail and many times they exceed. And I just want to share in this moment here, sometimes they're of men and then oftentimes they're of God. What you want to do as a believer, because it's a BFABP, believers from a biblical perspective, you want to make sure that it's of God. And so you, if you're trusting God or you're standing on a scripture, that's fine. Or you got an unction of the Holy Spirit, that's great also. And so you believe God told you to do it, you go ahead and do it. He said he'll command the blessing in Deuteronomy 28.8 upon everything you set your hand to. Yes, he's for you, so who dare be against you? And then sometimes ministers and Christians and believers uh, embark upon projects that are of their own selfish ambitions and soulish desire. And then it doesn't happen. It doesn't work. Acts chapter 5, around verse 38 and 39, Gamaliel was speaking, talking about there were other men who had come through town, if I may, and tried to bring forth their doctrine or their religion. And, and, and they would get some people to follow, but then it would fail. And then he said, well, when Peter and those brothers come through with the gospel, he said, if this work be of men, it won't last. But if it's of God, you can't overthrow it. So if a work is of God, you can't overthrow it. If it's of God, it's going to work. The only person that can make it stop working is you. You shoot your own foot or do something just terribly opposed or contrary to the will of God. Other than that, your project, your ministry, whatever you embark upon, if it's of God, it will work. So you go with those unctions and impressions in your heart. You go with the leading of the Holy Spirit, and he will lead you. He will bust doors wide open, and he will remove the hinges so that your project can come to fruition, and you'll have good success, and you'll prosper in whatever you do. If it be of God, you want to make sure it's of God, and that's the bottom line. And I've uh, been with ministers and various people of over my years in, 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 in this Christianity, and, uh, and we've embarked upon projects, and I knew it was of man and it wasn't going to work and it did not work because, you know, even though we're moving by faith and trusting by faith. But after I began to see that this is of man, their motives were wrong. Many times people's motives were wrong. You know, their ambitions were wrong. They, there was all ulterior motives and so forth, our hidden agendas. And then you find out, no, this is all just a popularity thing here. Or so-and-so just wanted to be known and made known or be made famous in the eyes of the public. And so I knew that was of man. That wasn't of God. When it's of God, it will last. When it's of God, God will be glorified. When it's of God, man is not glorified. God is glorified. And that's what it's all about. So we're talking about projects that fail. So your project, whatever you've done, you know, was it of God or of men? Because when it's of God, you just hold fast your confession. God will see it through. He'll make it happen. He'll make it come to fruition. And it'll be a tremendous blessing. blessing and you'll be so happy. And all the demons and hobgoblins will come against you and all the adversity will come at you, but it will not overtake you because when it's of God, can't nothing stop it.